morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. I almost was wrong, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Took me a minute. Because it is uh, the second, no, the third day. All through the holidays, that Monday off for a lot of people has thrown me off. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. If you didn't watch any of the bowl games last night, which was the Sugar Bowl and the uh, Rose Bowl, the Rose Bowl was the game to watch. I sent you a text, but you were at the movie. We'll talk about that in a minute. But USC beat Penn State 52-49. to It was a classic game. And then Oklahoma killed him in the other one. Oklahoma killed him. Oklahoma killed him. Do you think... Sometime. I'm just going to give this... And big shout out to Aaron Bird, who wants to know every time when the show's uploaded. He said he's glad we're back, so I'm excited. Okay. Uh, you are a college star. Okay. Well, thank you. College star. And I'm going to go with the Leonard Fournette and stuff like that and ask you... Would you sit out your final bowl game to get ready for the draft knowing there's a possibility something could happen to you? What What is your take on that? Because I think, I think the schools should start buying insurance policies for those guys who don't want to play, or they should buy their own. <clears throat> but sitting out, you should have sat out the whole season. That's what I'm... You, you should have foregone your senior, junior year and not played... I mean, because you had 10 other times you could have got hurt. Right. What makes this one any different? I, I totally agree. Uh, on the flip side, I get it. Yeah. God dang. It, you see them. They go down. They get hurt. Uh, McGay Hay. Willis McGay, perfect deal. <clears throat> Would have been a first-round draft pick. Went, ended up going in the second or third round. Lost millions of yeah. dollars. So I, I do get it, but I, there, there should be a solution. You know, even Lisa Gibbons used to have her legs insured for millions of dollars because that was her calling card. You have to. Here's the deal. This school. Hey, give me some insurance. This school right bets now. on you. Yeah, this school bets on you, and you make their money. You make their program a lot of money. I'm betting on you to make me a lot of money. And you get a free education. Right. If if you're good enough that you're going to go into pros, you've went to school for free. Yeah, I totally agree. So you kind of owe it to them. So to I'm with you, but that's a, that's a tough deal. And where I'm going with this insurance, I know you bring it up, is Disney took out life insurance on Carrie Mickey Fisher. Mouse? On Carrie Fisher. Because they own, they own uh, Star Wars. And she's supposed to be in the ninth installment and now has passed away. Lloyds of London will be paying them a possibility $50 million. Mike Tyson was uh had a policy through Lloyd's London. Woo! Fifty million dollars. Fifty million dollars. That's but crazy. That's crazy. You gotta think. All it, it's it's no different than any other insurance. There's trillions of people that pay insurance and then so many people cash Blessed. out on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that don't hurt them. <laughs> the insurance companies that have New Orleans when that gets wiped out or a bunch of other ones that get wiped out. Those are the ones that go bankrupt. All right. So, you went to the movie yesterday. I did. And you saw Collateral Beauty. I have been wanting to see Collateral Beauty. With Will Smith. With Will Smith. If you guys haven't seen it, it kind of reminded me of Seven Pounds, kind of when he did that, but you said it was a little different, kind of like uh, My Sister's Keeper, but I'm going to let you kind of give them the rundown on how you left out of the theater. Oh, that's easy, like this. God dang. <laughs> Did you use the emergency exit? No, and I'm going to tell you why. I made this comment in the movie. If you didn't cry in this movie, you don't have a soul, and you what's wrong with the damn world. That's what I said, quote, unquote. All right, we're good with that. We're good with that. It, it was so bad, I even had one, one of these. You know, usually it's just kind of... Yeah. Just kind of get it to the side, but I was, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. So it's a, it's my sister's <laughs> keeper type deal because I know that was a tearjerker. And uh, after you read, I read all that to Stephanie, she was like, I think I'm just going to wait for it to come here because I'll be that one that's sobbing in there. Oh, yeah. there ain't no doubt. All right, I'm good with that. I'm and, with that. you know, it, it's a very touchy subject. We, we've had friends that 
have, have lost a child and no yeah. you can't even imagine no what they went through and you know they've been long time supporters of ours and you know it's, not trying to bring our old memories but it's tough it's a beauty yeah it, 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 it is a tough deal and I, I know if it's the jump subjects but no not you I'm it's the jump subjects I got something for Christmas yes and I want to show you guys I got it from uh, Steph's mom and K Dub and Alexa. What's the weather today? In Waco, it's 45 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for partly sunny weather with a high of 67 degrees and a low of 35 degrees. Alexa says it's gonna get cold tonight. It's gonna get cold. Oh, and I said her name, so she. Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Now, I was going to get Stephanie this for Christmas. I was going to get her the big, the Echo. I don't want that. I won't even mean never use that thing. That thing is linked up to my phone, which mm -hmm. means she can add stuff to a shopping list. She can send me things to do. So she has going in the kitchen, and why? Because I, you can unplug it and take it anywhere. And man, it is. You set your alarm and everything to it, set right? Set your alarm, play music. You can tell it to play music. I mean, and she yesterday, taking down a tree, right when I, before I left to go to, down to the backyard, taking down the tree, she told it to start playing music because she usually puts her phone on, and I went, there you go, another reason to have it. Technology. Oh, for the low price of $39.99, I think. Yeah, something like right, that, right? right? I have to do like film right guys. Uh, we're not paid by Amazon to do that, but if we were, we would still do it because we would like to get paid. But by speaking them. of Amazon, go ahead. we have movies on Amazon Prime if you would like to go watch them because everybody in the UK is watching. Everybody. And you know, I, I was going to, we have a thread, me, you, and Hope, and I was going to put this the other day. Now I see why studios make all these different kinds of movies. Yes. Because you do not know. Which one's going to be the one, unless there's a Will Smith in it or, Correct. or something like that. But still, there's movies that Tom Cruise are in that tanks. Yep. But, so you never know. We got four up there. One of them's doing really well. Other one's doing okay. And the other two just now getting laid with off. no advertising. With no advertising. That's the cool part. That's the deal. And <clears throat> it is exactly what you said. I, I went in there and I searched the top movies. I sent it in there. And there is something for everyone. It's more drama-driven. But it does have Sicario, the top 10 of 2016 on Amazon, which I love because of a little bit of action. But it is more drama-driven, and I am willing to say this. I need to, as much as I want to write the next John Wick for Chris, and I'm doing it now, I probably need to do let Hoke and them do that drama and just put in, <coughs> you know what I mean? Your fight sequences. Just put in my sequences. Regardless, I'm doing the John Wick with Chris because <coughs> I've already got it going on. But... That's that's impressive. That I mean, we've had. I mean, we're way up there now. Yeah, well, that was. I'm excited. Sixteen, sixteen thousand and seventeen thousand minutes back to back days. So that, that's that's pretty cool. And you know what? You were talking about your boobs yesterday. Yep. I already started. And you already started. But there's these things you can buy. Man, bra. They're called invisible bra kind of thing. You just stick them on and it. Pushes them up. Maybe you ought to just get that. Well, I don't want them to be like cleavage. I want them to go away. Because see, they they go right here. You know what this is? And folks, if you don't ever stand in the mirror and look at yourself and go, man, you know what that is? That's a that's fat. That's a burger. That's a uh, beer. That's, <clears throat> I can lift weights, but at some point, i got to take care of the food that goes into my body. You did good this year. I'm really proud of you. You leaned up, you got back to the weight you wanted, and you did it by just not eating as much. You didn't starve yourself. He, uh, you know what I mean? The well, last two weeks, I did not starve myself. Well. But, starting today, I'm back to, and, it, and it's not starving yourself. Uh, last meal of going out of 2016 was last night at... Uh, Cheddar's. And I, didn't, I still didn't order bad. They got right. a new deal called Redfish with baked potato and broccoli. Baked potato, of course, had sour cream and stuff. And I got about halfway through it and I went, I could stop right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I usually don't. Same way. But I did. Brought it home. That'll be my dinner tonight. Same way. So, portion sizes is, is portion. huge. Speaking of uh, 
<clears throat> do we know what the lunch special is for today? Yes, we do. Down at the backyard, which we are part owners in, it's going to be nice. Our lunch crowds have been been, just been doing killing, and we'd like to thank everybody for that. And our lunch special today, which is a Reuben. It, oh, I will not listen. That stuff's good. Reuben sandwich with chips and a drink for eight dollars, no tax included. That's what I'm saying. You, eight. You cannot go anywhere, in and out, anywhere. And you know what? I have a picture Torches. of that right here. Yeah, we got the picture up. So uh, enjoy your Reuben. And we may make it bigger where y'all can see it, but uh, Reuben sandwich, eight dollars plus. Uh, chips and a drink. They'd probably make you some fries if you wanted. If but you wanted. It's a new year. Anything, uh, anything going on this weekend down there? Yeah, but here's the thing. Okay, it's going to be cold. We got James Taylor and Luke Pale. I think right. that's his name. From the Bachelorette. Bachelorette. And it's going to be colder than a witch's yahoo-ha. Okay? Which of these? <clears throat> Boobs. And we've already sold 250 tickets. Ooh, it's going to be crowded inside. Which means, y'all better hope for a Texas miracle where it gets a little warmer, or you may get turned away at the door. Yes. Because we will not have any room. I totally agree with that. We can get about 275 in there, but I hadn't checked today, but they're probably sold. But other than that, you know, uh, a bu bunch of cool stuff going on. We'll have uh, a band there. Uh, Eddie Hernandez from the Heebie Jeebies, and those guys are there Friday. And if you hadn't ever Very heard good. those guys, come in. You're gonna play Very some good. listening music. Uh, so come on by. And here's what we're doing. And I want to let you guys know. The show is Monday through Thursday. Yes. And on Friday, we're going to put up the best of, the best comments that we've got, the best stories that we had. Because Chris has to go do payroll on Friday mornings. And I have to work on probably, hopefully, not being as hungover because we bowl on Thursday yes, nights. Yes, yes, yes. So Friday's is our best of week. I want you guys to know that. I'm going to put it up and cut it. And I think that'll be fun, but we're going to get out of here today. You want to ask Alexa anything before we leave? Uh, no, I, I got something coming for Alexa. But ooh, ooh, we got something ooh, coming. I, I said it soft or she wouldn't hear me. Yeah. All right, we're going to get out I of here. I got something good for Thursday, though. Oh, man. I got something good for Thursday. All right, all right. It's going to be some real stuff. It's going to be real deep. Real deep. No real talk for Thursday. Thursday. Until tomorrow. Don't, don't tell me. Until, don't tell me. Until tomorrow. I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are.